Every day, in every country in the world, human traffickers exploit people for profit. The poor and the vulnerable are most at risk. Over 70% of detected trafficking victims are women and girls. Uh, 2019, I am a problem with the the <laughs> Uh, <laughs> So mon so buge wa dafa de wax ni so waxe de lay dama lay dama wax sama dam bi te suma waxe sama dam bi dafa lay rey ci lama won fi nga xamantene fofu la rey yon ben ethiopian bagasi ibal fetal dafa amon ben sto fofu lama yobu mune ma gis nga di de lay rey fi ba pare ñu sané la kenn du ko xam ki rayon ñen ko fi ni dama bu gonon te da ak mom mu bañ Human trafficking annihilates victims and their families. It seriously undermines the present and the future of communities. Traffickers operate through well-organized, often very well-structured criminal networks. UNODC appeals to the whole civil society, to all governments, donors, the private sector, international organizations, to join efforts in preventing and fighting against this terrible crime. Annually, um, 30th July, every year is the World Day Against Trafficking in Persons or the World Day Against Human Trafficking. And um, this is um, a UN theme and it is celebrated uh, globally. And it is a day to stop and think about victims of trafficking in persons. As we commemorate this year's World Day Against Trafficking in Persons under the theme, the use and abuse of technology, it calls upon all partners to be aware of the need to continue efforts within the cyberspaces in the country. If you look at the internet, uh, it's, 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 it's one big virtual world where you know, so many things can, can, can go wrong. And the internet now is being used by uh, perpetrators of uh, human trafficking in order to lure people into, into, in, 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 into this game. And because of that, uh, we, we feel it is very, very important for us to reinforce our campaign mechanism in order to create further awareness, uh, in order to talk to people about uh, some of the, the culprits that are out there using the internet in order to lure people into human trafficking. I have a text to my mother to reply, so I will concentrate on my mom. After my mom will explain to me that I will be able to live in my life. I will be able to live in my life. I will be able to live in my life. I will be able to live in my life. I will be able to live in my life. I will imagine that I will talk to you one month do am even fifty dollars so nga wara dem fofu no nga am like twenty five thousand per month so after sina bu ma waxe lo la ko wax ni man interest na pour ma ñew legi after mune mané wa baxna 
So it basically in the Gambia, you you will agree with me. Uh, many people uh, are traffic using 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 the, the internet because it's it's a tool where most people feel they can capitalize on in order to look for opportunities that are that are available out there. So by the time you 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 notice you you you've been deceived uh, into 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 human trafficking. And most of them actually does not realize this in in in, in common sense in the Gambia unless and until they reach their 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 their, their final destination. Indeed, technology enhances considerably the capabilities of criminals. For example, it allows them to anonymously identify, recruit and control victims, to share information, to hide the proceeds of crimes and consequently to more easily evade justice. We are aware that we cannot succeed alone. Therefore, we count with your support, with your involvement, with your awareness to prevent and fight against this heinous crime that makes thousands of victims all over the world, among women, children and men. Since 2019, IOM has been working in close coordination with the National Agency Against Trafficking in Persons to combat trafficking in persons in the country. NATIP, like I said earlier again, is mandated to combat cases of trafficking in persons and we have investigators here, we have measures in place to investigate and bring perpetrators to justice as we work on a 4P approach, prevention, protection, partnership and prosecution. Uh, for us uh, as an organization with our partners out there, we using the internet and also using, you know, uh, campaign mechanisms moving from community to community to sensitize people about some of these predators that are available online uh, in order to lure people into human trafficking. The, the COP Cambia project is about creating a common operational partnership to work along with uh, Gambian institutions to try to disrupt also uh, traf trafficking in persons and smuggling of migrants. They knew they were in jam. They knew they were safe. Abna nyo hamne deng deng na hang to death. Abna nyo hamne deng la deng la push. Si si ta deng la de push ngadano. Abna nyo hamne nyo yobula life in prison. Belegi traffic in mungi 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 happen. Belegi. And then Lucy gina hell is privilege. Maluma inyan nte. From New Bison Hill because of trafficking, but they give me am. Guiding the Dempsey village with the Countess Mary, Punio Bus and Domi. So Lumenian Dalmom, Cape Kahaman, and one of the play you see the Kinari bull them because of the Kinari Baho. No matter what, no matter how, being a Haman and a Gambia meeting a little meeting, 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 then talk, we try soon level best because of the Kinari, Neku de Cabin Haman and the Cabal, so for them a slave lay light of. Is a Munera Munaha de Lula Ladder. It's in form no Tachola. So we should fight for it. You fight about this trafficking. I know what I am telling you. I far died from the Gambia, West Africa. I was trafficked. I am a victim, or I can say I am a survivor of human trafficking. I am here standing for the right of the victims. They are in very, very, very bad situation emotionally and mentally. They are harassed. They are discriminated. They are abused. They are raped. They are killed. The world should know that this is happening. I'm here today trying to help whoever is a victim or a survivor of human trafficking. The innocent people who are out there and don't have a voice to talk. I am here to stand for them. And I call on all people to show their support by joining UNODC's Blue Heart campaign against human trafficking.